What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, today I want to talk about tech application or tech mode. Uh, we've been asked a lot for the past two years that uh, customers, uh, shop owners would like to have a, a tech mode or, te or tech, and tech application. So basically they don't want the, their technician to see all of this uh, up top. And uh, even though we do have a password to protect your uh, protect your reports they still don't want the functionality of seeing basically if I click on a custom they don't want to see the customer uh, information they don't want the technician to see um, the sales how much the total and all that and so I, I've been thinking about this for a long time now it's like okay creating another application it's not that hard the problem is maintaining the application and that's the biggest issue we didn't want to uh, create another application and maintain it because the maintenance of the application is the hard hard part is not just creating it um, there's always constant updates especially we update this application when we update one application we have to update the other applications so I came up with, with something really genius basically um, uh, we're gonna use the same application and we're gonna we're gonna have a tech mode in it and uh, at first we're gonna launch it for uh, it's not ready yet for probably by next week we'll be ready first we're gonna launch it for cloud users and then we're gonna launch it for local database users um, so the first thing that for the cloud users they're gonna go to settings right here I'm sorry no or reports you gotta go to reports basically and when you go to manage uh, users and tax you're gonna create a user right there and you're gonna see something called tech mode so you, it's usually it's unchecked. Once you check it, this will become a technician basically. And when he log in with his credentials, um, it's gonna be log in as tech mode. So let's see how that works. Let's close this. We're gonna sign out. Let's just go ahead and log out from the cloud. And we're gonna type in his credential. If I can remember the credentials, one second, sorry. All right, uh, Andrew. So what, what is this about? Basically, it's going to be the technician will have very generic things to do, which is actually what he's supposed to do. Um, adding the mileage, uh, viewing the, 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 the estimates and invoices that he needs to work on. Um, let's check it out. Let's just log in. Right, here we go. All right, here we go. So look what happened when we logged in as a technician. What happened, first of all, the menu, the, the top menu has changed to basically there's nothing really in it to change anything. Um, and then this switches to workflow. So basically he can only go to workflow. He's going to view everything at once like estimates and invoices, in progress estimates and in progress invoices. We still, this page is still not really done but uh, we're gonna we're gonna change it to where, where whatever the technician need um, so if I click if I open this estimate right here again first of all it's gonna say tech assigned uh, his name he still can edit the call the vehicle information he can do all the stuff um, if we look at the parts labor he cannot see any prices everything is zero but he can see the quantity and the hours and who's assigned he cannot add anything to the to the estimate um or up, up here is going to be tech mode uh printing he can only print the tech assignment um he still can do the vehicle inspection though he can do the vehicle inspection and um he, he cannot place any order he can change the status uh, to ready for approval or in progress he can change the status actually we might even put different status for the tech mode as if the card is ready or not or inspected so I'll, I'll figure that out yeah like I said this is in progress but this is happening he can print the old change sticker um, he can add the diagnose his diagnosis 
um, that customer request will be disabled, but he will be able to add diagnosis, recommendation, uh, and probably note. The rest will be disabled. Um, I think it's gonna be really cool. I think it's gonna help. Uh, if you have a service, okay, so let me let me explain this how when this you're gonna need this or not If you have employees and you are the service writer, then yes, you need that uh, If you are an if you are the owner, but you work with the guys inside and you have a computer with the guys inside I mean basically you really don't need it because you need the full functionality of, of the whole thing uh, but like I said, this this mode only is gonna be for for the shop owners who are the service riders or have their own service riders and the technician. They can have this on the tablet now, and uh, uh, we, like I said, we're gonna reorganize this completely where it fits uh, the technician mode, and uh, I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm excited about it. Um, uh, I know you guys, a lot of guys. Uh, uh, like uh, been looking for it. the beauty of it like if I click on somebody's customers like he cannot see the customer information either um, That's it. So that's pretty cool And the most important part of this whole thing is it's the same application so we don't have to worry about um, uh, Like updates and stuff because it's the same application if I if I log out and let's just log out back into the main account. So you don't have to uninstall, install, or install another application. So if at any moment the owner needs to log in, he can log in with his account. Again, if I remember my password. <laughs> and here we go. Just like that, everything is back to normal. I think that's brilliant, and this is the estimate that we we're looking for. I think that's brilliant. I think that's gonna help a lot of uh, shop owners. Uh, should be done by next week. Um, I wanna take my time on it to do some more stuff to it and, and, and change it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great week. Thanks.